people are arrested and we got brutal attack and lawyers are coming and trying to support us legal advice getting legal advice is a fundamental right but that legal advice also denied to us by this brahmanical administration this uh, criminal vice chancellor is not even allowing our lawyers to come to speak us what happened what to do next this is the brutality of this campus i request one more students to come forward and speak one minute uh, uh, one student want to show what happened to him when the loot lot charge was happening so it is just not about uh, lathi charge seems uh, it is not not just about lathi charges it is much more than that they use blades in lathi do you see the mark of uh, blades here blades there some kinds of blades that have been used and uh, it was all bleeding very badly on the, on the 22nd and it was uh, all that had to be all taped and all in all of this area so it was very badly done so this is uh, you know beyond explanation how what is the explanation for all of this what is the explanation is there an explanation we like to ask even yesterday when we have all the hostels were shut down there was no drinking water there was no food and we planned to cook here for all our for, our, for all our students but when we started cooking when we wanted to cook here immediately police have come and attacked on uh, uday banu now he is hospitalized he is in a icu his condition is very critical that is the brutality we have to speak here yeah. hello um i have to make a confession that i usually have a have a really bad stage fright so but uh, since last two months i have realized that i cannot remain afraid anymore i just cannot remain afraid anymore at this campus it is because it, i mean we were observing a kind of criminal silence we were observing i mean we were ignoring um, five of our friends who spent Twelve um, days in, uh, out in the open and cold for, uh, uh, in January. For twelve days, they were out on uh, out in the op open and cold, and we we did not show. I mean, most of us did not show solidarity with them. We should have been with them that in those days. If we had stood by them, we would not have lost one of them. That's the first thing. When I learned about Rohit's, um, I, this is a kind of a confession that I make. So when I learned about Rohit's. Um, this institutional murder the, uh, that evening that's the thing i that kind of like i should say it hit me like anything so uh, with that realization only i took part i, I have uh, shared all my fear and i decided to plunge into uh, the movement that uh, later on shook uh, the entire country so this is now like 60 days after the entire movement and uh, the vc was not here for like He, he disappeared the night rohit um, was murdered and then he reappears without informing any of us like shame shamelessly he is um, with what audacity he he would come and face us he didn't he just he had informed some of his uh, like minded students and they were there in uh, um he his lodge in favor of him the mom the um, i got to know um, about his return from the facebook post uh, by uh, jc and um, i uh, just rushed to the vc lodge from the hostel and by 10:45 yeah almost at 10:45 am so i was there till 5:15 in the evening at 5 we were sitting there without proper food and water like there were uh, of course we were circulating some bottles of water but um, by 5:15 I, i had not had my breakfast and i was sitting the entire time there without food and i was feeling really lightheaded so i thought of um, going and having something so i walked out um, after telling my friends i just walked out and the moment i got out of the uh, gate that they started uh, removing students possibly so one of uh, one of my friends called me and said this they have started removing um, students possibly so i ran back and i wanted to get inside and then uh, the security did not allow me so and and she started she again called me and told me not to come inside because they started beating up students really badly so so she asked me to run and save myself but i could not run i just could not do anything i had, i i was feeling so bad my friends i mean 
um, the whole family was getting beaten up inside and I could just could not remain safe. I mean, I, I, I was there the entire time and uh, by, just by the time I walked out that this thing happened. So I just could not, um, I, did, I did not know what to do. I was waiting there. And then the whole, uh, the police had uh, started beating these people and then, uh, then I saw them uh, like being chased out of um, the gates. And then um, just right in front of me that these people um, pulled up, pulled in, I mean, pulled certain, uh, some students inside the van and they started beating them right in front of me. It is then that I got into an argument with some of the policemen uh, in there and there was a lady in, um, who was wearing uh, in her police uniform there uh, in between them. Yeah, a lady inspector was there and and uh, when I start, when, when I started arguing them and arguing with them uh, about beating these students inside the van, like they have already caught them, why should they beat them inside the van? So when I asked them, they were like, oh, "Who is beating?" Like it, it, it is happening right in front of my eyes, and they're denying. They are asking me, "Who is beating them inside there?" You come inside and see. You, uh, they are asking me to come inside and see. And then, uh, then I, I told them to, to turn, uh, turn around and see. These policemen were beating them like anything. And I was close to tears and then these people started asking me who am I and um, which cause am I doing here and stuff like that. And I told them they have no right to ask me any, um, any of that question. Like, this is my campus. They are the invaders. They are, they are the outsiders. I should be asking the question to them. That who are they? Who, 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 why, what are they doing in this campus? They should leave the space. And then they made a pass on my skin tone. They looked at me and said, it is evident from looking at you that we know where you are coming from and you should be taught a lesson and we know how to teach you a lesson. We'll just drag you inside and they said that on my face and um, I, I, I was getting the, um, I started shouting back and then uh, and that lady just uh, ran towards me and she, she wanted, I, I guess she was just trying to assault me and then Bittu appeared and she was, I mean, Bittu was the one who just rescued me from there. When they saw Bittu, um, Bittu said uh, that inspector, I mean, uh, then that, uh, um, I don't know his name, uh, that IPS officer came in. So Bittu said, uh, these people know each other. So uh, Bittu knew this was a faculty, and I mean, that guy knew this, uh, Bittu was a faculty. So uh, they started, that moment Bittu stepped in, uh, their tone kind of changed. But then uh, some five minutes before that, uh, they were dragging one of the, uh, lady faculties um, by her hair. They were trying to pull her inside the van. That was also happening right in front of me. And I was getting into an argument with her. What I'm saying is like, yes, I did not get beaten up. I, I did not get any into any, I mean, I did not uh, get any physical violence or anything. But then the kind of trauma they put me in, like the, what, the, what there was a particular policeman in Mufti. So that guy was issuing rape threats right on my face. They were asking me that they, they would teach me a lesson by just pulling into, like, they were saying, we'll, you will spend a night with us and we'll teach you a lesson. Oh, same. Same, same, same. 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 So, with, um, I, so this is what I faced and it, it took me a lot, like, even now, I when I think of that, it's just, I mean, this is our campus. What are they doing here? They are the outsiders. They should be... They should be out of this space. This is our democratic space. They are taking over this. We cannot let this happen. We are all together in this when we, we should all stand together in this to reclaim our spaces.